You see this big old honking thing right here? That's a big old toolbox. I have never bought a toolbox that size before. It's rolling easy because it's light. All right, so that means it might be empty. But let's, let's find out, shall we? All right, oh, that's not empty, is it? All right, you guys, 100 degrees here, over 100. Literally just stopped the recorder from wrapping up my last locker since I sold that this morning at the flea market. Here we are for this locker right here. 550 bucks I paid for this one. It's a tool unit, mostly. And uh, this one was exciting. People were talking about it, and uh, guys were asking about it yesterday. A guy asked Manuel about it, because uh, he knows that we're friends, and uh, everybody wants to know how this one turns out. You guys want to know too, right? Because I sure do. Let's take a little peek inside. All right. We got light. Ooh, you can actually see. <laughs> Let me turn this around. All right. This is what we got. Five by 10, I believe. And yeah, that's a five by 10. Mostly tools, right? That's what we see. We see this big old honking thing right here. That's a big old toolbox. I have never bought a toolbox that size before. There's this toolbox here, and the door is open because after I bought it, some guys wanted to take a peek inside. There are some tools. It doesn't look like anything crazy. It's not stuff full or nothing. We got some rims. I actually completely forgot about that. We have some cardboard boxes, which I also completely forgot about. Um, let's see. We got some sort of a wood cabinet back there. I didn't see that either. This case right here, you guys were wondering about this. And uh, one guy went in and peeked, and it looks like golf clubs. So that looks to me to be records. When I had my flashlight, it was a lot clearer. Right now, I'm not so sure because my eyes haven't adjusted. Down there is DVDs. Uh, I don't know. To me, it almost looks almost like flea market-ish because it's like records in a bin, DVDs in a bin. It's kind of th stuff us flea market guys do, but let's hope not. I mean, I don't know if it really matters, but... Ooh, look at that Polaroid camera. <laughs> There's a vintage camera. That's kind of cool. Uh, what else do we see? I mean, we see tools, right? There's some more tools back there. It's all good stuff. Sleeping bag. Nice, really fat extension cord. That's good. A clean filter right there. Probably for a shop back or something. This is nice. The Husky's not like a super high-end brand, but that's probably 10 bucks right there. But we gotta get 550 out of this puppy to make it worthwhile. Seems to be the drill. Whenever I spend up, sort of, right? 550, it's a lot for me. I don't usually spend that much. I get that instant buyer's remorse. Oh, did I spend too much? Oh, uh oh, what if I don't get it? I look in here, instantly I'm dreading it. I'm doubting it. And uh, of course, find something good, all that quickly changes. But um, no sense talking about it. Let's just get to work and see what we find, all right? Hey, got all that cardboard out, a few of the items on here, out. The rims are out, pulled this out. Underneath was this Bosch. That's a good brand. So let's see what we got here. Uh, not what I was hoping for. So this is five bucks right there. Just sold like five or six of those today. These I'm not so sure about, maybe a couple few bucks each. And uh, yeah, it's a handle. These are screws, what's this? Concrete anchors. Yep. Okay, we're working in tight quarters here, but got this out. It says job box. You know what the funny thing is that I just saw an online auction that had a job box, and uh, I looked them up. These are pretty expensive. These are pretty expensive. So it rolls very easy, which is good news because that means the the uh, the wheels are in good shape. But it also could mean that. It's rolling easy because it's light. All right, so that means it might be empty. But let's let's find out, shall we? All right. Oh, that's not empty, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> goody, goody, goody. Where do I begin? 
Okay, first box looks pretty good. That's what we got here. Duracraft. Driving socket wrench set. It's a big one. It's nice. I'd say that's at least 20 bucks, right? A little better. Quarter cable nail gun. That's pretty good. Alright, here's another one. This little DeWalt box is not that impressive. These sockets. Looks like most of the kit's missing the and there's some sort of epoxy set. Um, it's pretty cool. If you need epoxy, this is probably a good value here. But um, yeah, I couldn't find anything on it. I don't even know what to ask for that. Another Bosch box. Another chance to get something good here. Let's see. Ooh, that's better. Bosch hammer. What is that? Eleven two four seven. That's. Heavy duty, that is beefy. Boy, this one's 150 on eBay. Sold price, 150. Now we're talking. All right, that made some room. <laughs> that was easy to load too. So what do we got here? We got a fishing pole and some sort of. What's that for? Is that for measuring or is it for marking something? Uh -huh. It's for measuring. I can't clicks. I'm not sure what those rings are for. You guys don't know what those are for? I've never seen that before either. Um, something here is getting my sneezing going. All right, not a whole lot here. A few items, dollar items. We got some tools here. I mean, some uh, screws and stuff. More dollar items. Two dollars, three dollar items. There's a punch set, I think it's called. What is it called? A tap set? I forget. There's some money there. Uh, that's a kind of a nice level right here. Just go in the corner or something. That's pretty cool. I don't have one of those. And here we got some craftsmen. That's good stuff. Mastercraft. Is that what this is? Master Forge. Alright. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Look at this guy. Yeah. Whoa, these are huge. What does that say? Brigade. Room vanadium brigade. I don't know what that up. Those are huge. Thing on this wrenchy. All right. Yeah, buffing posture or whatever there. Okay. Clamps. Not really seeing anything. Too exciting. Danger. Some good blades. A few bucks. Uh, craftsman toolbox, that's good. That's good. Okay. Got that big box out of here. We got some some uh, shelves right here. Some little shelves, that's cool. Looks like it's Target. Um now we can poke a little bit more some Photos. Uh, what's in the shoe box? What's in the shoe box? Hmm. I wonder what this dude's story is. Looks a little older. What else is this? What is this? I see some old stamps here. Oh, a lot of old stamps. Hmm. All right, we're gonna put that one in the car. I think that teddy bear might be old. He doesn't really look that old, but he feels old. So that's good, got some older stuff, that's good. All right. Photos, looks like maybe he's a coach or something. Or maybe he played some ball. Ooh, ooh. that looks interesting, doesn't it? It's a wallet there, of some sort. Okay. Can't see real well in here when I go from the sun into this walker, even though we got a light in here. My eyes don't adjust as fast, so I'm gonna have to take some of this out to go through it out there. But it's bloody hot out there. I don't know what to do. 
and I'll just keep working. All right, that air filter that was sitting up here, that's actually for a shop vac. And it's brand new in the bag, so guess what? Calm dibs. Uh, here's a wood box that was on the floor. Let's see what's in here. Got a tail light. Instant ice pack. <laughs> I could go for that right now. <laughs> Let me stick it in my shorts or something. It actually sounds really good. Uh, hmm, I'm so tempted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll wait. <laughs> it's super hot right now. Let's see. All right, let's see. Let's get another one of these out and go through it. Okay, got a couple of pictures there. We showed that already. Okay, book on home repair. And this interesting box here. I'll look at that in a second. So WD-40. Dibs. I can never have enough WD-40. Shaver. Let's get this right here. Okay, it's a wallet right here. Huh. It's pretty nice. Checkbook. Address book. Some bank statements. What we got in here? Whoa. Driver's license. Alright, let's take it. This feels heavy too. We're gonna have to look in that off camera. Alright, so next bin had some photos on top, but also this old knife right here. I don't know how old that is, if it's just been left to rust, or if that is really something of value. What do you guys think? You know anything about this? <laughs> Feels pretty legit. I don't know if it's focus focusing well or not because my phone is getting really hot again. The temperature is just too high. So here we got some newspapers. Look at that. It's September 11th. So is this September 12th? It's, I don't know. It must have been like an afternoon edition. It says extra edition right there. Got a whole bunch of these. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, ooh, <laughs> yeah, baby, Beatles, yo, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, oh yeah, that looks like it's, a, the sleeve's in good condition, let's hope the record is too, we've got Elvis in person, we've got Elvis via satellite, and we've got the flower drum song, not sure what that is, hmm, well, it was good, and it got not good all of a sudden. The King and I. <laughs> uh, Ray Charles, I think that's decent. I mean, I'm talking about value-wise. Uh, Neil Diamond, I, don't, I really don't know. The Lime Lighters. Dang, Johnny Mathis. It was good for a second there. Frank Sinatra, I think that's probably pretty decent, I would guess. The Carpenters. Glenn Miller, Neil Diamond, Neil Diamond again, okay, well, we'll go through those a little bit later I think, Let's hope that, hopefully there's some better stuff, so we've got a box of garbage bags there, that's always good, ooh, Canon EOS manual, let's hope to find the camera here too, that'd be great, personal paperwork, photo, Personal paperwork, and we'll look on the outside. I'm hoping those are all albums. There. All right, you guys, check this out. I got that box off of there. I didn't even see what was behind it, partially because my eyes aren't adjusting very quick. That is a beautiful trunk right there. That's at least the way it looks from here. It looks like a beautiful trunk. That is so cool. This right here, this piece right here, I believe. As the speakers on either side, it could be a, a record player in there. We'll get to that in a little bit. I'm not too excited about that, but that, yes. We're finding trunks galore these days. I can't wait to see what's in there. Move that box right there. 
Yeah, you can see a little bit more of that. It looks Indonesian, I think. Pretty cool. But got the box up here and a couple of cool things right away. First of all, this is a Polaroid 420. Look at that. That's different. I already found that one Polaroid. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. That's old, isn't it? I think this piece here probably goes out. All right, we're not going to do too much with that right now. But uh, yeah, super cool. Here we got some uh, huh, offspring. It's just kind of funny. It just didn't seem like uh, from the records that would be their taste. Um, okay, there's a yearbook. We'll get that back. Reservoir Dogs, great movie. One of the best movies ever, but then what's this right here? Hmm? What is that? Let's see. Okay. Hmm, a bunch of rosary beads. What's this thing? I don't know if that's silver. Alright. So, I'll put that away. I'm gonna go look at that closer later. Okay. Ah, bummer. I thought these were all DVDs. I'm seeing mostly VHS. And that's not so good. What's in here? Ugh. Okay. This box comes from over here. Cuckoo Clock. So, Fragile Clock, Kaiser. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I've never found a valuable Cuckoo Clock. I always find them... That are all, uh, this looks like it was brand new. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, actually. Huh. I Remember I find them, they're always broken and missing pieces and not like a high-end one. I don't think this is a high-end one. Looks like someone's made a okay. Uh, You know what? We'll take that home. We'll look it up. It's kind of cool. It's brand new. Kaiser is definitely, what, German? So, it's great if it was a German... Cuckoo clock, brand new in the box. It would be better, even better, it would be if it was vintage. You know, the box actually does look kind of old. But the styrofoam and plastic's throwing me. I don't know. We'll have to check this one out, though. Okay, we got a couple of these Champions, Champion Sports boxes here. And I just cut this one open and check it out. <laughs> brand new. It's got more of these instant ice packs. So this person was definitely a coach. And, of course, you know, the team photos said it. I didn't even notice the pennies here and the cones. This is definitely uh, coaching material. But uh, my wife coaches. I coached basketball one year when the girls were younger. Uh, I don't really know much about sports, but we definitely had to have these. They're not cheap. They are definitely good to have. And right now, I don't think I have any. So actually, this is kind of a score because my wife just started coaching uh, my daughter's team last week. So boom, money saved. All right, this box here says CDs. Yes, indeed. That's what it appears to be. Black Street? Is that like the Backstreet Boys? I don't know. Never heard of it. Um, wait, have I heard of any of these? I can't. What does it say? Oh, Madonna. Okay, yeah, I've heard of that. System of a Down, full day. That's good. I don't have my uh, green day. Morgan, I don't know who she is, but you know what? Quite, an, quite a mix here. We got what it looks like to be either rap or R&B or both. We've got punk rock, meaning Green Day. We've got System of a Down, Hard Alternative Metal, and Country. <laughs> this person liked the gamut. Uh, here we got VHS movies, and that is a big pile of garbage right there. This is brand new right here, this media, and that's sellable. But, um, yeah, comment below if you've ever sold one on eBay. <laughs> if you haven't, don't bother commenting. I've got a bunch listed right now. They're not selling, so I, I don't know if anyone's buying those anymore or not. Okay, here's an interesting case, and we believe it's a golf club. But let's find out. Faux show. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Huh? 
balding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not good. These are not good ones. I don't think. Wow, these ones actually look old though, don't they? Look at that. That's old. I think. McGregor, I've had those before. That's what we got. All right, all the other guys at the auction were excited about this unit because tool units are exciting. Everybody loves them, mostly because the tools sell so well and for so much money at the flea market. But also this one just had a little bit of mystique to it. You know, it had some interest. People could tell that this one had a little bit something different. Uh, so uh, you saw a little bit of it here. We're gonna wrap this up in the next episode and show you if we were able to cover that $550 cost and make some money. But also we're gonna show you what's inside that carved wooden trunk. I think that's the most exciting and interesting piece that came out of the locker. All right, so we're gonna show you that in the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Throw us a thumbs up if you would, if you like seeing us do this sort of thing. If you like seeing us take the plunge and buy units and then show you what was inside. See if our uh, the gamble that we took pays off or not. We love doing it, so I hope you like it too. Don't forget, subscribe and hit the notification button as well. All right, until that next part comes out, you guys, we'll see you then. Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Lock and Nuts. Alright guys, here's your bonus footage for the day. In with those golf clubs was a whole bunch of these fishing poles. I don't know if these are worth anything, but uh, they're definitely old. Looks like bamboo or something. And uh, that was a neat little find. Those were hiding in there too. Just have a whole bunch of different stuff.